I got an email from Play-Doh saying that they had a 50% off clearance sale going on. So even though I know that there are steeper discounts coming, I still go because I want to get the good stuff before it's all gone. Right when I walked in, there was this bin of stuff that was on clearance. It was a hodgepodge of shoes and bags. And I just looked through it to make sure that I wasn't going to be missing out on anything. Pretty quickly, I found this Kate Spade backpack. I thought it was really cute. It is a really great floral print. They did want like $55 or $50 for it. So even with that price cut in half, we're still looking at a pretty good amount. And I do end up putting it Back later just because I realized that there are some exterior flaws even though comps can be around a hundred dollars um, some of those are for brand new bags of that same style I just didn't think that the gamble was worth it so even though you see me pull it out and hold on to it for a bit I do end up putting it behind and as I flip through this bin I'm not really finding anything else that excites me also a lot of times at Play-Dohs when they shove a bunch of stuff in a bin like this you realize that a lot of the items end up getting scuffs or just marks on the exterior and they're definitely not doing themselves any favors by shoving everything into a bin the way that they did in this here bin. This little tiny Mage wristlet caught my eye because Mage is a really great brand. It's super expensive, but they were asking $25 for it. So I'd still have to pay a good amount. It was so small. I didn't think it was worth it. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how I look up comps while I'm at the store. As you can see, I took a picture of that Kate Spade bag. So now I'm gonna go to my Google Lens app and I'm going to select the picture of the Kate Spade bag. At that point, you'll see a little icon that is the Google Lens icon. And if you click on that, it will actually actually pull up image search results from all over Google. You'll get search results from platforms like Poshmark and eBay. If that picture is still on the Kate Spade website, you'll be able to find a link to that Kate Spade product page. So it's a really great tool if you want to look up comps, if you want to see what the name of that particular piece is called. So once you have more information on the piece, you can look a little bit more specifically within platforms like Poshmark and eBay to get specific comps for the item in question. I do find this little beauty. It's a Athleta long sleeve shirt. I do really like the cutouts, but I do end up leaving it behind. I don't even pick it up for myself just because I don't find it to be super practical. But this shirt you will see later on in the haul because yes, I do haul everything that I end up picking up at this Plato's closet. And I got this for myself for $8. Pistola is a denim brand often sold on the Revolve website and I have picked it up a few times and sold it but I do tend to sit on it for a while and I didn't think that the price was worth it so I did leave this style behind especially because it did seem a little bit older but this brand Baldwin I had never heard of before I'd never come across it and so for five dollars after I looked up comps I decided it was worth picking up um, one really nice thing about this particular pair of jeans is that the style name was right on the inside of the jeans these were the and the skinny jeans and so it was really easy to find comps online and there were a good number of comps for like that 40 to 50 dollar range and therefore I decided I would just go ahead and try it out. This was another new to me denim brand and they were asking five dollars for these as well but as you'll notice when I looked up comps for this particular brand they were not nearly as good as comps for that Baldwin brand and so I did end up leaving those behind. This is why it's extremely important to look up comps at the store even if you feel like you know a lot about the brand you might find that a particular piece that you have is just a little oversaturated it was like the day of brand new denim brands at Plato's this day because I had definitely never heard of this brand it was called Jacob Cohen and when I looked up comps in the store I about pooped myself like I was pretty shocked I do have a story about this particular pair of jeans that I will share in the haul but these were pretty exciting to me. Look at how much some of these jeans are listed for, over 400. Now, you see me switching over to check comps on sold listings because people can price items for however much they want. What actually matters is how much those items are selling for, um, but when I looked at that, I was like, okay, still worth picking up. 
Not a huge fan of We Were What or Joe's. Definitely left this behind. I just didn't know that they had a collab situation. However, these came home with me. Filson is an amazing menswear brand. And then this right here <laughs> stopped me in my tracks and made me laugh because this is a dress that I gave to Plato's Closet. I sold it to them probably a few months ago. This dress stopped me in my tracks as well because I saw this Real Real tag on it. Um, the Real Real does put those tags on some of their pieces when they ship them out to customers, and therefore I stopped, looked up comps, and decided that this was coming home with me. I really like the embroidered florals on the front of that as well. I came across this jacket. I don't know the brand. The brand was Beautiful Stories, and I think that this was actually sold at Anthropology. It's gorgeous camo print but it's got all this embroidery all over the flaps of the pockets and on the back and these medallions however look at the sleeves the sleeves have clearly been cut by someone like in their home this was not done at the factory this was not done by a professional and if you look at these comps they're pretty good however you can also see in the comps that this jacket is supposed to be long sleeve it is not supposed to have short sleeves and that's how I knew that this was some weird DIY project gone wrong I had to leave it behind even though it was a really beautiful jacket I would have even loved to keep it for myself but what am I supposed to do <laughs> with a jacket with really weird short sleeves y'all I don't know why but my husband is so camera shy even though he is so friggin funny but I wanted to show you these ridiculous cart things that they give us at Play-Dohs anyway he found this jacket it is by AAPE which is a bathing ape it is part of that like streetwear brand it's a diffusion line of it I believe and although it wasn't on sale it was $25 you are gonna see this later in the haul Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller on a variety of reselling platforms, including my own website, Shop Becky Park. And I'm gonna show you all of the things that I picked up at that Plato's Closet. I was there with my husband. We had a really great time hanging out, thrifting together. It is one of the things that we like to do together. My parents were in town, so they were able to watch our kids while we went out. And I'm really excited to show you what I got. A lot of this stuff is gonna end up in my website and um, some of these pieces that maybe I like knew would you know make some decent money um, that I'm not super excited about but I just picked up for that reason they will go on my regular reselling platforms like Poshmark and all those other places but um, a good number of these items are going to go on my website for my January drop on January 13th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you set your alarms. And if you want to be alerted closer to the date, I do have an email list that you can join. It is down in the description below. But let's start with this first piece. I was first very uh, confused by this, but then got pretty excited. So this was one of the items that was not on sale. As you saw, I went to Plato's because things were 50% off. This one was actually not on sale. My husband found this piece and it is by the brand Ape, which, you know, I saw this guy and I was like, okay, I think this is like a fake Bape, which is the streetwear brand. It's super expensive. It stands for bathing ape, but this is actually by a bathing ape and it says somewhere in the ape universe. So it's a size small. Um, it's kind of like a diffusion line, if you will, of Bape. So it's not as valuable as Bape pieces, but I still thought it was a really cool piece. This is what the front looks like. This is the graphic on the front. It says AAPE and it says by a bathing ape and it's got um, the same logo on the back here. It's like a nice little nylon windbreaker. It does have a great drawstring at the neckline and on the inside of the hood, the lining is this camo print. So, you know, I did pick it up for $25. That's what Plato's was asking for it. But I do think I can still list it around 100. Um, and this is gonna go in my website drop because I do have a lot of like streetwear type brands, things that actually I love to wear, very comfy, casual, but also kind of, not luxe, luxe isn't the right word, but you know, just higher end because it's those coveted streetwear brands. This is the next item. This is another one that 
my husband found and this is the other item I think it was just okay we got three we got three pieces that were not 50% off but I think you'll understand why so this is by the brand All Saints this is also a men's piece All Saints sells men's and women's pieces it is this great ribbed sweater there is some pilling on it so I do have to take a sweater shaver to it and I believe it's made of a wool blend let's see this is made of okay it's the Lymore crew that is the style name and it's made of a wool polyester nylon blend um all saints is just a great brand i don't have that much experience selling it for men in fact i don't know if i've ever picked up a men's piece but from what i was seeing of comps i should be able to list it around 50 dollars, i believe and i bought it for 14 so i was pretty comfortable doing that and this one it's kind of more basic so i'm just going to list it online to my regular platforms it's not going to go in my drop but i thought it was a great piece nonetheless this one I'm actually going to show my dad, but if he doesn't want it, I'll go ahead and list it. Um, this one was full price. It was $9. And the brand is just Alexander, I can't talk, Alexander Julian Colors. I think it's more of like a 90s, oops, I just took the tag off, but like a 90s, maybe like Y2K brand. Um, it's in a size medium. The reason I picked it up is because it's 100% cashmere. And with 100% cashmere, you do want to look it over very carefully and make sure that there are no holes um, because cashmere is such a delicate fabric and it's really easy to come across pieces at the thrift store that have holes, especially like in the belly button area for some reason. But we looked this over really well. It seemed to be in great shape. Um, my dad does really like cashmere pieces. I mean, who doesn't? So I am going to see if he wants this, but I think it might be a tad bit too small on him. And if he doesn't want it, then I'm going to go ahead and list it. This next piece I am going to have in my drop because this one is fun. This is so fun. So this was 50% off. They wanted $12 for it, but I got it for six because that was the sale that they had running. This is Anthropology, and it's literally just like the by Anthropology line. It's in a size large and it's made in India. It's these super fun printed pants and they honestly are very kind of like login looky if i had to describe them like just kind of loose baggy oversized that layered look they do have pockets they're very lightweight they're kind of like sheer almost but this is the print on them i just thought it was fun and i know it's not like super trendy as far as the pant style and even the print i know like printed pants aren't really super popular or anything like that but I love a good pull on like elastic waist and I also really loved these tassels in the front I just okay there's a lot of hair in the tassel so let me get that out because that's disgusting but I just love a lot of color. I love comfort. I love lightweight. Um, these are pants that if they were in my size, I would be reaching for them time and time again, mainly because they are fun, but also comfortable. So that is going in my drop pile. This is another pair of pants that are going in my drop pile because these are so fun. So these are, oh my God, they're my size, but they're too long. I cannot wear pants by this brand. So this is free people. They wanted $10 for it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a size extra small. Um, and it is this free people tag. It is kind of coming off like one side of it came off, but size zero. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So they're like a slight flare pant. At first, I thought these were daisies. Don't they look like daisies to you? But then I thought they could be something else. I don't know what else. Like, I tried doing a Google Lens search to see if I could find a stock photo of these. I could not. I tried typing in free people daisy print pants and nothing came up. They kind of also look like <laughs> fried eggs. But I don't think free people is out there making fried egg printed pants pants i don't know what this is if you know let me know what you think um but i just thought they were too fun and again with the elastic waist super comfortable these are going in my january drop and i'm honestly so 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 very sad that they do not fit me also those are in perfect condition 
Um, I was pretty excited about this piece because I could tell it was like a very well constructed piece and that it probably retailed for a ton um, mainly because of this tag right here because it says that it came from the real real and the real real typically is only accepting higher end stuff they're not accepting things like loft and forever 21 because that's not who they are so this is by the brand Miguelina and to be honest with you, I had never heard of it before. It's in a size small. It is 100% cotton. So this is what the dress looks like. It has these beautiful, large embroidered flowers on the front. And then it's got these kind of like flared, very 70s vibe sleeves. Um, there is a flaw with this dress. And the flaw is that it is missing it's slip. It's supposed to come with a 100% silk slip and it is not, but I think this could still be super cute as like a um, cover for a swimsuit. You could bring this to the beach. It's got that crochet lace um, exterior. So you could just throw it on over your swimsuit and you would see whatever swimsuit it is that you're wearing underneath. I think it is just so beautiful and so fun. I love that it's not just like a basic plain white crochet lace top but that they have these big bold almost like bohemian flowers so i love that i got it for ten dollars this is most definitely going in my drop because how fun is that piece so so fun um this next piece is for me <laughs> i'm going to keep it i don't have a lot of like workout tops that are long sleeve so this is just the brand athleta it's in a size extra small it's like this really cute lavender color and i paid eight bucks for it eight bucks for a workout shirt from athleta yes please the next item is a pair of jeans this is by the brand baldwin i had never seen it before and so I looked up comps. Um, it is the 10, the skinny. It is made in the USA, size 28. I just thought I would try it out. The comps show that it was going for about $50 or like that's kind of how they were listed. Realistically, I can probably get about 35 for it. And I paid five. So I was like, you know what? Let's try out a new brand. Let's see how it does. I do enjoy selling denim. I wasn't like particularly pumped when I found these. So they're just going to go on my regular reselling platforms. But I was intrigued. I want to see what happens. These I was pumped about like pumped okay oh i love this brand so much so i don't think they knew what they had because they would not have priced these at 12 dollars. now i am a little nervous because now i'm seeing that on the tag on the play-doh's tag there's a little symbol that says as is and usually oh i see it i see it okay i see play-doh's maybe they knew what they had but they priced it lower because of I'll show you in a second first let me show you the brand the brand is Filson I think Filson only makes menswear but they only make clothes that are so super duper expensive like it's kind of crazy um, I went inside of a Filson brick and mortar store in Seattle and I was appalled like taken aback at how expensive everything was these probably retailed for, I don't know, at least $150, if not more. They're in a size 30 by 34, and they're literally just like a beige pair of jeans. Um, they wrote khaki on the tag, but they're definitely not like khaki material. So they do have some flaws, as you can see. They have some marks, and it's got it really bad on the back here. It doesn't matter. Like, I do think Filson is constructed super well, and I think some men wear it um, for work wear. And I think this could be used for that purpose, but also I feel like it just kind of looks cool to have some wear and tear and, you know, just some of that, like ruggedness on these garments um, but obviously I'm still gonna like photograph those things I'm gonna let everyone know that there are flaws on this particular piece I don't even think that it's honestly worth the time to try to get them out I don't think that they're gonna come out sometimes you look at a piece and you see you know the stains um, or the marks on the exterior and you say to yourself oh I could get that out you know I might take a little bit of time but those will come right out I don't think these are coming right out. So I, I'm going to have to sell them as is as well. I still think I can list them for at least 50, if not more. These got me excited. They are going in my drop flaws and all. 
Whew, it's a good brand. It is a good brand. And I'm excited to pass those along to maybe a viewer, maybe someone who just stumbles across my website, but I'm excited to pass them on to someone um, for a really good deal. This, oh, this is a pair of Spanx leggings. Spanx just always does really well for me. I did pay $9 for these, but I should be able to sell them for at least $35 or even more potentially. It depends. Um, yeah, size extra small, just nice neutral black and people love their Spanx and I get it. I do have a couple Spanx pieces myself. They really do suck you in, but they're also super comfortable and they are a great bolo in my opinion. So excited about those. This I am going to just list regularly. It's Carhartt. I've been selling these for like $25 to $35. It's a relaxed fit button down short sleeve shirt in a size small. I paid $5 for this and it's in this great, very classic, very Carhartt plaid print. Someone will be super excited about that. And like I said, I'll list that for $35 on my various platforms. So there is that. This is also gonna go oh, in my January drop. I love it. So I don't pick up this brand very often, but whenever I do, it always does really well. So I don't know why I don't pick it up more often. This is the brand Flying Tomato. It is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's in a size large, it's 100% cotton, but how fun is this waistband? Oh, I love it. And then the bottom is like a wide leg pair of super lightweight pants um, with these stripes and they've got pleats on the front. I just thought these were so, 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 so fun. And so I could not leave these behind and I'm so excited to list these in my January drop. Um, let's see. Yeah, I paid four dollars for these i can't believe no one wanted these for eight dollars <laughs> and so i got them for four and i just think they are so fun size large don't know how i'm gonna list those yet as far as price is concerned okay this is another one that i was so excited about um i do have to ask my husband to clean them up a little bit because there is um some staining on these but i do think the stains in this will actually come out so it's this pair of vintage pants the brand which doesn't really matter, but if you are curious, the brand is Girls Girls USA. And it does say at the bottom, Steven, I think it's a Steven Beneza, Steven Benaza group. I don't know, it's in cursive and cursive is hard to read, but it's this pair of green pants with again, an elastic waist and kind of that um, paper bag waist. If you can see that, I love these X's here at the waistline for a belt to go through. Um, they have pockets, they're super high-waisted and this is what they look like. I love the fun pop of color. I love how they're so comfortable, but also just like so fun and such a great way to complete an outfit. Just the greatest bottoms ever. Um, they're in a size large, but with them being vintage and they're 100% um, cotton, with them being vintage, I will obviously measure them because vintage sizing is usually pretty different from current day sizing. So you can see there are some pretty big stains on the front of these, but I think that those are gonna come out. And with me only paying $3.50 for these, um, I was like, you know what, even if the stains don't come out, it's still worth it to try at that price. If they were priced much higher, I probably wouldn't have picked these up just because there's no brand recognition, there's no, you know, whatever, but they were just so fun. I love the fact that they're vintage. I loved the style and the fun pop of color, so I picked them up and we'll see what kind of magic my husband can do on those. Last but not least, I picked up these I, th I think they're jeans let's just call them pants because I'm not sure they are by the brand Jacob Cohen and this tag or this like label on the back is very intense <laughs> so it definitely stopped me as I was doing this through the racks it like stopped me in my tracks and I was like I feel like I should look these up and I'm very glad that I did because comps for bottoms by this brand are insane. Now, does that mean I'm going to get 
that price for these not necessarily but it definitely meant that they were worth spending six dollars on they had them priced at 12 so it definitely meant hey let's just buy these at six and let's see what happens so they're by the brand jacob cohen and it says that it's made of italian craftsmanship these are in a size 34 by 34. It does have a model number, so I'm going to look up all of that stuff. Made in Turkey. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to see what the original MSRP prices are for jeans by this brand. He has said that he really wanted to create the first luxury denim brand and his wife who is now the creative director of the brand has carried out that vision and that is why their clothes are designed in Italy because of their craftsmanship and quality. I was so very scared because what happened was I was looking through a rack of jeans and it was actually women's jeans so these were put in the wrong section. They should have been put in men's but they were put in the women's jeans i was looking through and i stopped because like i said i saw this really obnoxious thing glaring at me and so i took out my phone to look up the brand and just do a little bit of research and i kept these pants where they were on the rack because i had a bunch of other clothes i didn't have a little cart at that time and as i was looking on my phone another shopper came behind me and they were going through the rack and they stopped at this pair of jeans and they actually pulled it out and they were looking at them and I just kind of was like standing there with my back to her but like doing one of these like are you gonna put it back are you gonna put it back and eventually obviously she did but I really did feel my heart starting to beat like faster and faster <laughs> and I was just getting really nervous because I was like oh my god I should have just held on to them like in my hands physically so that no one else could take them away from me that's a lesson for all of you when you're out there thrifting like if you see something if you're running comps on it if you want to take a picture of it like until you have it in your cart just make sure that it's in your hands like don't leave it somewhere for someone else to be able to take because if it's not in your hands if it's not in your cart that technically means they can look at it right so you don't want to create an opportunity where someone could snatch something amazing away from you just because you aren't holding it in your possession so i have no idea how i'm going to price these yet i'm going to do a little bit more research also this little tag makes me think that this is probably new without tags it doesn't really feel like it's been worn they are kind of wrinkled but i think that has more to do with this just sitting in someone's dresser for a while without them wearing them than it does, you know, them wearing it a ton. I think it's honestly pretty new. It has that kind of like, I don't know, it just feels like it. So very excited about that. I do think that I'm going to sell these in my drop because they're kind of a unique color. As you can see, it kind of is coming across as like a super basic denim, but it really has almost a purplish hue to it. Um, it is blue, but like bluish purple if you will i don't know and like i said obnoxious this is obnoxious but i think i'm going to try this out on my drop and that should be live pretty soon here like i said my first drop is happening january 13th it is going to have a lot of these pieces that i just showed you today so definitely make sure that you check out shop becky park on january 13th it's going to go live at 10 o'clock central standard time and that's where you're going to get to see all of my best thrifted pieces over the course of the last few months and i have been saving them specifically for this drop so i hope you were able to check it out thank you so much for watching my thrift with me and thrift haul if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye